This is the spreadsheet version of periodic FIFO. The first thing I want to do is go to a different tab and look at our data info. Here's our data set, all the purchases on the left, all the sales on the right. We're interested in the purchases as lines, but we're only interested in the sales as an aggregate. The first thing we do is we have a list of our purchases. We have the beginning inventory and then the rest of the purchases. We're interested in the purchases as a line. We can sum up those lines here. Now after we have our beginning inventory and purchases and we've summed those up, now we can take the sales as an aggregate. We know the sales as an aggregate. We know that we sold 5,200 units. Again, from our data info, we could do that because we aggregated this column. Now what we need to do is we need to take 5,200 units out of each of these lines. and We need to keep going through those lines until we've used up 5,200 units. We do that down here with the adjustment. 52, we take out all of the 800. That gets zeroed out. The cost is zeroed out. There was 2,200 in here, and we took all of that. There was 1,200 in here, and we took all of that. There was 1,800 units here, but we only needed 1,000. That left us with 800 units, and we didn't need any of the 500 units. Once we've done that, we have a line item for each of these. We know that this is a sale on this line. All of these sales order item valuation log ID refers to this one line, the sales as an aggregate. And then each of these tells us where this came from. Uh oh, there we go. Again, this comes from the top line, and then the next line, and so forth. Now that we have that, we can find out what's left in our existing inventory. Because these have been zeroed out and this has been reduced, now we know what the, the cost of existing inventory is. And with our adjustments, or the 5200 at a different cost, we can see what the value is. And we have that here on this table. Cost of goods sold, 5200 units at a cost of goods sold of 16,740. Ending inventory of 1300 with an ending inventory value or cost of 4,470.